welcome to Kicking Dust. Right, this is uh, the Lord of Dust, you're himself. Um, I, I I haven't used that for a while, so I, th I thought I'd bandy it about willy-nilly just to basically get a few people uh, getting angry at me. It does seem that people become more engaged in this game when they are, quote, mad. Um, so <laughs> I thought I might just start to uh, flex once again the trolling might that I have under my control. And I think, you know, this is a great example again of um, some of the beautiful things that 1.8 has bought us, and I think 1.8 particularly has bought a very, very fun um, methodology of interaction with this game because cloaking I think is excellent and I, I honestly couldn't think of a better um, you know fit that's right you just saw me using core flay locks twin core flay locks that's how OP I am um, it's not really again I do stress this point people think people think for some strange reason that I'm trolling that the flay lock is actually um, a bad gun it, it is it's a very bad gun indeed nobody uses them this is the irony you know it's only me that uses them I think um, so yeah they need a bit of love um, and and again half of you will be sat there thinking oh my god here we go trollface.jpg and no not at all I, I actually really do think that the flay look just needs um, I don't know maybe just a little bit of a damage increase or even just that that splash damage range going up a bit or something I don't know but um, it does feel it doesn't feel in line with all the other guns which I mean let's face it the bolt pistol wow that gun geez that gun is incredible um, not seen too much about the ion pistol yet I guess it's just because nobody's really running it that I run with um, so post in the comments what your thoughts are on the ion pistol I would be curious to know uh, the scrambler uh, pistol obviously has been in for a while that's a very good gun I think if you run with controller that's a really good natural fit um, but the flaylock has no natural role. It used to be a very good kind of, um, you know, explosive um, area of effect weapon, a bit like the mass driver, but that got nerfed into the effing floor. Um, and it, it's just not very good at the moment. Um, I'm enjoying running it though. The sidearm event is still going on. I don't know when this video is going to be released. It could well be. <laughs> it could be well be a while. But um, at this particular moment, the event is still going, and it's fun. It's um, it's difficult. I've got to admit. I mean, I'm I'm picking the good games we've had because we've had some real shockers where we've run sidearms and the enemies come at us with proto everything, and it's like you know. I've had a few kind of terse conversations with some, you know, quote, enemy gang leaders who who seem to think that the game is about winning. It's not about benefiting from maybe a particular event. It's not about having, I mean, dare I say, it's not about having fun. Come on, bro, what's that about? Uh, it's more about winning. And I think there's an interesting dichotomy here because, to be honest with you, there are a group of people who are emerging through that just generally don't seem to actually have much fun playing this game. Um, I'm not going to mention names because that always ends badly for everyone involved. Um, but there are a group of people, you know, and from multiple corps who just have a very odd way of playing this game. To me, you know, I honestly don't care if I win or lose. I really want to have a fun match. So some of the best matches we've had, we lose because we're gunning in a dropship or we're, you know, sat doing remote explosives on a single point, whatever it may be. That, to me, is the fun part of uh, the game. And I think a lot of people forget that entirely. And I think it's, it's a shame in a way because I would love it if more people just played incredibly casually. OK, you know, winning in dust means nada. Um, having fun in dust is everything because it's a hobby. It's not real. OK. Um, so anyway, duh, I'm not going to go down that route, but loving the cloak. I think the cloak is working really well. Um, I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of hate for it in, in areas. There's going to be a lot of love for it in areas. To me, it works perfectly fine. It feels good. It doesn't feel powerful uh, or rather overpowered. I think it's a perfectly you know interesting game mechanic, to be honest with you. I, I kind of like it. To me, it's something that I think the game has not had for a while. I think it, it's had that it's difficult to explain so let me just flail around with stupid words while I try and give the, the the element of what I'm trying to say badly the game has been very much the same for so long cloaking is an entirely new thing even though it's not a, a thing it's more of a mechanic that mechanic has been um, invigorating because it's a whole new way of playing the game a lot of people will play these games with the mindset of I'm going to run the same suit, the same gun, the same tactic, the same uh, map style, the same game mode. 
And when something new comes in, they fear change and they actually objectively rebel against it, even though they don't really understand why they're rebelling against it. Okay, so that is what I think 99% of all the hate for cloaks is coming from is players who don't probably even use them and get killed maybe by one person using them. They would they would say, quote, it's OP. They would say that, you know, there's issues with it. But I, I, did, I just defy that. I think it is a fantastic addition to the game, which, let's face it, needed something new. It needed a little bit of something different because the game was getting quite stale, I would say. Cloaking to me is something that I think has really defined a whole new way of playing this game that's fun, energetic, quick, paced, but yet still enjoyable. And I think um, never before has Dust really managed to achieve the feeling of Quake or an or a Unreal Tournament, which is what the engine's based on. Whereas now it feels incredibly like those games because if you have skill at playing FPSs, particularly on a PC with mouse and keyboard, this is where you are probably loving 1.8 because the reality is, is this game with the scouts as they are now, with the ability to cloak, with the ability to have, you know, from pretty good guns that do single point damage, you're having a um, a renaissance of those particular times. As we sit, as we wait for our next target to come along, this is just the brilliant. I love this. I love sitting here being a scout, sitting, watching, seeing if people can figure out where I am. When I move, they can see me. When I stop, I'm invisible. When I'm invisible, they can't see me. And I love that. I think that was a brave mechanic to do. I thought they might do something like the Predator in the films, where even then when he was cloaked, you could still see the shimmy of him. And I am just so glad that they didn't do that. I'm really glad they went and did this properly and said, right, the point of cloaking is, yep, you can be cloaked. And look at that guy. He's cloaked. He's thinking he's gaining benefit of being cloaked. I saw him. So I have a fit that counters his cloak. So how can that be overpowered? I saw him. Oh, if I have to, literally, if I have to say this one more time, I'm going to cry. Um, <laughs> again, you know, things like the Flaylock are good fun using again, but um, I think there's things like the Plasma Cannon that really could do with a bit of love here as well, I think. You know, making the Plasma Cannon more like the long range or rather the, the light weapon variant of the Flaylock would be very nice as well. I am going to try with a Mass Driver at some point. Again, when the when the uh, event finishes and we no longer use sidearms um, for our primaries because obviously that bonus thing we jig um, i am actually going to use the um the mass driver i think for a little bit i may be completely shit with it but i'm just curious to see how good it is now watch this this guy's remote is placing remotes i saw he was replacing remotes i shot his remote let's just see that in slow motion Kablow! <laughs> danger close, danger close. Oh, love it. And this is the beauty of it because, you know, scouting has made the game a lot more accessible. It's, it's given, I think, you know, wise players the ability to really get amongst enemies and really cause some trouble for them. So again, he's cloaked. I saw him. This is the beauty of these fits is, you know, yes, he's using a cloak. Yes, he's getting benefit from it. It doesn't get any benefit from me because I'm countering him. And everything in Even Dust has always been about countering, okay? Um, I, sorry, it's, it, you, can't, you can't come at me and say it's an overpowered tactic. It is in, in no way overpowered because, as you're seeing, I see all the cloaks. I see all. <laughs> I just, I, we'll see. I love the fact that also there is a, um, a pretty interesting kind of um, shift with vehicles as well. So denying, I mean, having just literally hard caps in vehicle in some maps with ambush, etc. is a great, great thing. I'm really, really glad they did that. And I think, but also I'm, I'm really glad to see that vehicles are not as powerful as they used to be because railguns can't ace you across the map. You know, the, the hardeners are not as good as they used to be. So. You know, in total, the benefit to AV has, I guess, kind of gone up because, yes, you have one less grenade, um, and yes, your forge gun damage mods are not doing as much, but in essence, you're still gaining benefit because, you know, the the hardeners have gone down quite a bit, 20%, I think, in both cases. So, you know, they're not as good as they used to be. Um, I would like to see a wholesale nerf of the blaster as well. I know I'm going to make myself very unpopular here, but I, I don't run my blaster myself to kill infantry. I will. If somebody dares come near me, I will end you. But if um, my, my general idea is I don't want to kill infantry at all because I'm there to use the blaster to kill tanks because that's kind of what I like doing. 
Um, so to me, I would welcome perhaps a nerf of the blaster as well. Too many people just run blaster tanks knowing that unless they've got good AV, um, they're not going to really be in much trouble. So I think the next kind of OP platform to me is blaster tanks to a degree. But I wouldn't reduce their damage against um, vehicles. This is going to be the tricky thing to fix that because you need blasters to be effective against vehicles as they are now, maybe even a little bit more so to give the railguns a run for their money. Um, but you need them to be less effective against um, infantry. So maybe there's a natural efficiency loss of 50%, so they're only half as good against infantry, but they're very good against um, tanks. So anyway, we'll see how that goes. As, the, as it goes, I'm loving 1.8. Post in the comments and tell me how your love of 1.8 is going, or if indeed your hate of 1.8 is going. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time.